Our next guest is shaking up uh, the world of fine art, allowing investors to buy shares in pieces of artwork. Masterworks was founded in 2017, has more than 200,000 users signed up. Artists uh, involved inclu include Keith Haring, Banksy, and Joan Mitchell. Joining us now is Scott Lynn, Masterworks CEO uh, and founder. Art has been a great investment over the years, Scott. Sometimes it outperforms other uh, asset classes. So I, I understand how that would be good to democratize that uh, and, and bring it to people. But, you know, in addition to having an investment, you can hang something on your wall usually, too. And I'm just wondering, how do you – that's not why people would be involved with Masterworks. You're not, you don't have anything to hang on your wall, do you? Yeah, I mean, look, at the at the end of the day, most of these paintings cost millions of dollars, right? Many of the paintings that we bring to the platform are $10 million, $20 million. So they're really, there isn't a way for the average person to really purchase these paintings and, and hang on their wall. Um, and you're absolutely correct. If you look at the performance of contemporary art from 1995 through 2020, it's appreciated at about 14% a year, beating other asset classes. So our, our view is, is really that this is a this is an investable asset class. You should think of it just like you think of stocks, fixed uh, fixed income, any any other asset class. Um, but there there really hasn't been a way historically to allocate to it unless you have millions of dollars to buy a painting. Could you have you had anyone buy a fractional share and then get a really decent copy and hey and then I'd say you know what I, I kind of uh, can you do it that way? I mean. I, I, whenever we have people, I want a Soutine because I went to an exhibit over in, in Paris and I liked, he's just so, his stuff is so weird. So I wanted one. So I keep asking the guy when he comes on, you got one for like 1100 bucks. And he, he, does, he says, I'll look. But th th it's never going to happen for me, Scott. But I could get a part of one and then hang the, the thing and say, yeah, I own part of that. I own this yeah, little we, spot we, right we, here. We, 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 we don't have the ability to uh, to do that today, but we get that request a lot. So it's it's you definitely do? on a roadmap. See, I'm not we, that crazy. What about do. NFTs? Yeah, they, that, will that uh, work you know, for I'm you? The, I'm, the out, I'm the outspoken anti-NFT person. We, um, you know, we don't really view NFTs as investments, I think, at least as part of a part of a portfolio, just because of the, the volatility that, that could certainly change uh, in the near future. But we're really just focused on securitizing actual actual paintings. So you securitize it, and you deal. The, so you, you, the SEC, you're, you do everything you need to do in, in that way, and you make money like a hedge fund too. One, one, uh, one and a half and twenty. That's right. So we we buy paintings and we file them with the SEC, just as you would you would take a company public. Um, so each individual work of art is a public com uh, public company that we're selling shares in, and we now have investors trading shares on a secondary market as well. Um, our, our big news this morning, actually, is we've, we've just raised $110 million from a firm called uh, Left Lane, who, who led around an evaluation in excess of a billion dollars. So the business is really, really taking off. I mean, we're seeing hundreds of thousands of investors adopt a new asset class, which historically is, has never been available. So do you, how do you decide uh, for your, uh, I guess, your, your investors, you, you, you must have you know, some really good people that, that, that judge what's likely uh, to come into vogue? Or, I mean, it, it, it seems like a little bit hard. I don't know. Is it harder than, than regular securities? How do, you, how do you decide which pieces are, are the ones to, to securitize and sell uh, fractional shares of? Yeah, it's just like any other asset class. So, you know, you, we just saw the, the Basquiat up there. So if you look at Basquiat's market specifically, his market is appreciated somewhere between 16 and 20 percent for the last 20 years. Um, really, really an exceptional performing artist. So we, you know, we look at different segments of the art market, see which segments have the most momentum, and then really go into those individual artist markets and, and start buying paintings. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.